Rock a Morak. Muck Batang. Small HD announced that they were coming out with the HDMI protector for the 5D Mark III. They had apparently come out with one for the 5D Mark II just before the 5D Mark III was released. Oops. So I'm just going to get around tonight to basically finishing my epic post on all things port protection uh, for the HDMI port for um, your camera, any camera really. This is going to be the final installment for um, for port protection. So here is the package that I got from Small HD. Uh, this was a Kickstarter campaign to get this going. So I think I pledged forty dollars or forty-five dollars. Uh, so here's the instructions that it comes with it. So I'm not sure what the retail is uh, on this at the moment. I'll have to look it up and put it somewhere in the notes. Looks like you remove the strap, as I had mentioned in my post before. Um, and then there's a pin that goes down perhaps through the strap holder or just outside of it and then your USB and HDMI cables can go in and then a little plastic piece slides across the locket. Here's the piece from Small HD. Let me get it out of this package here. It's very nicely made and nicely uh, put together. Um, very nicely machined, that's for sure. Um, Small HD doesn't mess around in quality. Uh, they're definitely a, a pretty awesome company when it comes to monitors. I don't know if you know this, but uh, the guys from Small HD won the Doritos Super Bowl contest. They were some young filmmakers and they decided to put together a Doritos commercial and enter it into a contest to have their commercial air for Doritos on the Super Bowl. And they won not only once, uh, but I believe they won two years in a row. So they maybe took the money, the prize money from that and started this uh, great field monitor uh, company called Small HD. I believe they pretty much just make field monitors, but don't quote me on that. They might make other stuff too. This is, uh, I'm not sure what material this is. It feels like a, a nice and smooth uh, plastic, but it's really well constructed. It's not flimsy at all. It's like. That's like super strong. I can't even really bend it much. Whatever they use to make this sort of shell here uh, feels really good. So then it looks like the in the top of the plastic they've got this uh, metal thread for the metal pin that goes down here. And then once you put your ports into the side of your camera, your cables into the side of your camera rather, uh, then I guess this piece pulls out. Let's get it to pull out. Hmm. There it goes. So then you have this sliding uh, bit that once your two cables, your uh, HDMI and USB cable, go into the side of your 5D Mark III, then this slides behind it to, to lock it in from, from moving. It's interesting that Small HD includes a, um, an HDMI cable, and it's a mini to regular sized HDMI cable, which um, is just like the Zacuto cable here. Um, Zacuto has a nice little flexi arm on this, which lets you kind of route the cable in different ways, uh, either out the front of your camera or out the back. When I was doing some of the HDMI lock solutions, some of the cable locks didn't always work that great with, say, the Zacuto cables. It's interesting, Small HD included a HDMI cable, a mini to full HDMI cable, probably because they knew it worked with their device and they didn't want to mess around with having you attempt to use Zacuto's or um, some other brand. All right, so. I've got my HDMI port protector. I've got my mini to HDMI cable. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not this port protector will work with the 5D Mark III when it's got the battery grip on it. Um, it is really, really nice to have your battery grip on uh, your camera when you're shooting video. Uh, so I recommend getting the battery grip for your camera uh, because you don't have to pull your camera out of your rig and um, insert the battery from below, pull it off the 
uh, the tripod plate. Uh, it's really nice to get at your batteries through the side here of your um, of your battery grip. I don't have to go all into the benefits of, of having a battery grip. Uh, shooting sideways is awesome when you're shooting a lot of um, portrait shots. Um, and then as I said, having two batteries in here is really great for uh, extending the amount of time, both for photos and for videos. Now on to the part in which probably is going to annoy me personally. Um, and it may annoy some of you guys as well. I don't like taking my strap off my camera because it's not that easy to do for me. Um, you can get aftermarket straps that will clip onto the two strap holders uh, for your camera. I pretty much leave my strap on. <laughs> I pretty much leave my strap on all the time when I'm shooting uh, both for photo and video. I just find it extremely convenient. Um, I don't like taking it off. So this is going to be the one thing I'm not going to like about this port protector, unfortunately. So you're either going to have to put your strap on and off every time you uh, need port protection, or you're just going to have to go without the strap for your camera. So I'm just going to take it off of one side. How about that? All right. Let's see the instructions here. 1A, 1B, 2, where's 3? Oh, 3 and 4. Okay. So this needs wants to be loosened all the way up. There is a little pin right there that goes into the um, the little hole that's on the bottom of your 5D. Okay, so it kind of tucked, it's sort of tucked underneath this little tab at the top right here, that little tab tucks into the strap holder there on the side of the camera. And at the same time, you want that little pin to go in there. Uh, it took me a minute to get that. There we go. So it's kind of like a push in from the side rather than a um, lay on to from this direction. You want to kind of push it straight up. Small HD did say 1A and then 1B, so you kind of get that little flap in there first and then make connection with the little pin at the bottom. And then 2 is tightening down that this little pin. Just comes down and, and makes contact right on your... and tightens onto your strap holder there. I guess I would have made the uh, the pin here shorter because I don't know why it needs to be so long. I feel like that this should be flush up there, so maybe I'll dremel that off or something if I actually use this. Now onto three. Oh, uh, uh, whoops! Guess what I've done? <laughs> I didn't open my uh, open the pod bay doors. Hal, this is something that often happens with HDMI protection: is that you put the protection on your camera and you tighten it all up, and you realize you haven't opened up your um, accessory door to get to your stuff, which I have not done. You have to open it from the bottom. I can't really get my finger in there now to get to that. So now we'll open this up. Kind of throw it to the side there. Now we're interfering with this operation here. So now I have a dilemma. What to do with my little door? Seems like it's not a, sm a smooth operation now. There we go. Boy, oh boy. Okay, got that pushed up in there. Now I can wheel this down. I've got access to my um, headphone jack, which is good. Can I get this one off too, if I wanted my mic jack at this point? <clears throat> yep, okay. So that's a bit of a pain. I guess HD, I guess small HD pretty much wants you to just pull, snip these things off and have that side of your camera be exposed to dust and crap, but I'm not doing it. So it's one. It's interesting that they didn't put that in the instructions at, at all. Um, that you really kind of have to baby these two uh, little doors out and out of your way while you're doing this. They put a little pin in there to keep this from falling out, which is nice. Now my mini HDMI can plug into there. I'll close that back up because I'm not using my mic at the moment. 
There it goes. So now my port is protected. I pretty much can feel confident in doing the suspension test. For poop and giggles, let's see if the Zacuto works with this. It does, uh, but on the Zacuto, it's a little bit smaller, so there is some wiggle in there. Now, I can't pull this out necessarily. It is holding my cable in there, um, but it's just got a little bit more wiggle to it. So I definitely think it's usable. And it is not easy to pull this back out once it gets in there. It kind of gets really snug on this bottom end and you gotta give it a good yank to get it out of there. But difficulty in removal is probably a good thing for HDMI port protection. All right, let's go back to the, the small HD one. You can see this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but um, it's tighter down at the bottom here. The gap seems to be a little tighter right here than it is up here. So that seems to be what's causing this to um, to have an issue down here at the bottom uh, in pushing in. See, I can. It's difficult to 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 push this in at the bottom. I feel more tension here than up, up top. See, the up top one wants to come out, but this is a two-hand job, too. Wow. Oh, that's kind of difficult to do. Um, uh, this battery grip's not going back on here. I can pretty much tell right now, but let's Let's just pretend it will. Nope. See that? Um, that's a big fail, eight small HD. I'm sorry, but you guys as video shooters should have allowed this design to accommodate the battery grip. See? No. That's no good. A lot of video shooters shooting with the battery grips to get a longer period of time shooting video and the ease of changing batteries. So all the other HDMI port protectors that I reviewed were pretty much a, uh, a plate solution that went on the bottom of the camera that pretty much negated the use of a battery grip anyway. Small HD is no different in that. I don't think that any of the HDMI protection solutions that I reviewed uh, allowed for a battery grip, which is too bad. I'll have to go back and look at them, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. You know, Canon should just add a thread on either side of their HDMI port so that you can buy a special HDMI cable that type, that screws in on either side. I mean, the digital or analog computer monitor cables that uh, screw into the back of your monitor and then the back of your computer have those little tightening pins on either side of it. I don't understand why Canon could have adopted something in a small version of that, even one of them, um, that would have allowed for the HDMI cable to go in and then be tightened by a little um, a little knob on the side. So instead we have all this ruck -a ruck muck batang that has to be invented just to protect the ports in the, uh, in the Canon. Canon doesn't really want you to shoot professional video on these still cameras. So they don't exactly bend over backwards to make it um, to make it easy on you. You'll notice that this does come over the edge of your camera. So if you have a big sideways plate, uh, you're in trouble. But as long as your plate's kind of thin and, and forward here, um, it's nice that Small HD came out with this um, to protect your port without really blocking the. Um, uh, putting on of any kind of plate at the bottom. I think the cool LCD is still my favorite because it has a anti-twist solution as well as uh, port protection. I give Small HD definitely kudos for developing this. I think for the 5D Mark III it's a, it's a really nice solution for locking both your HDMI port and your USB cable in which is more than others do. Others just do the HDMI. Um, and I applaud Small HD for working out the kinks and really making this right before they released it. This wraps up my colossal post on HDMI port protection. I'll add to it if I see a, another solution that comes around. 
Um, if you have any questions, I am definitely going to be giving away some stuff before the end of the year. Uh, I promised last year that I would give away a few things, uh, and then I ended up moving and packing everything up. So I'm kind of like just getting settled back in and figuring out what I have and what I need and what I don't need. And I'll be giving some stuff away that I don't need. As a uh, appreciation for you guys watching, and I definitely appreciate the comments on YouTube, but you can also come to my blog at dslrnerd.com. I love answering questions on the forum. Uh, one of these days I'll do a review on my um, awesome Zacuto EVF. I uh, really, really love this thing. I love that it can be attached without the EVF on the back of my camera uh, or I can attach it to the EVF. And what I like doing is just, I've got a little uh, cold shoe ball head here and I just like putting it on top like this and then I can, I've got this uh, extra eye cup on here which is um, like a, a velvet material and it's really great for people with glasses like me so they don't smear your glasses. Uh, so then I can kind of walk around shooting like this. Uh, I can get down at low. If I'm up really high with my camera, I can just drop this down to a low angle, you know, and kind of look up into it or uh, move it around to the left or the right. So this is the way I've been shooting the other day at, at the winery I was shooting at. It's really nice. And then you can just sort of flip this up and take a look here. Thank you for watching. Check out my blog at dslrnerd.com. My name is Damien your humble host. I love to answer questions, so fire them off. Uh, have a fantastic evening, and I will finish this beer.